Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Great news! The supposed M24FB210A microwave magnetron from Israel, uh, the used part which is apparently working, has arrived. The downside is it's actually an M24FB610A. Now, uh, you can see that is not what we have on the back of this uh, supernova. On the plus side, I looked online and actually these are rated to 950 watts uh, and they are a standard magnetron uh, device. And if you look at them, they are extremely similar. So uh, you can look at the two devices there together. Uh, they are basically the same thing. Um, however, what I will say is that the mounting is on the wrong side again, a bit like the uh, Samsung. So we can see we've got our two points here for mounting and in the same orientation as that one the points are on the side. However, I have noticed there's a couple of screws here uh, here and here and they do look like they might line up with the screws that we have on here. So it looks like <laughs> these devices may have been used in the past on the supernova. So uh, that's all good. I think we can get that in there. And so we are getting to a point where we can start testing this. Uh, and now you will recall that I made this uh, anti-discharge tube here for the uh, supernova, but for the um, Samsung. And if we look here, we have a lovely new head on this magnetron. And in theory, this will fit nicely over the top of that too. So there we go. Uh, we are getting to the point of being able to test the supernova. Thank you very much for your time and I will see you in the next video.